Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Although it's perhaps a bit early, I'm sure many of you enjoy a delicious glass of Scottish malt whisky. But in addition to this iconic global product, the whisky industry in Scotland produces almost 3 million tonnes of problematic production residues, which present the industry with a significant commercial and environmental cost. I'm Mark Zimmer, CEO and co-founder of Celtic Renewables, and we have a simple win-win value proposition which does not require subsidies. We can take those problematic, costly residues and using a patented process technology, we transform them into high-value commodities and liquid biofuels, biochemicals and high-protein animal feed. If we could harness all the whisky residues in Scotland, we could generate annual product sales of over £100 million. However, our platform technology can be applied to residues of most beer and spirit industries and a range of other bio-waste material, giving a huge global potential. We are forecasting revenues of £200 million by 2022, and by using low-cost residues, we have a significant cost advantage over our competitors who use pro prohibitively expensive crops as their feedstock. Celtic Renewables was founded just over three years ago to commercialise this patented process technology, developed at Edinburgh and AP University by Professor Martin Tangney, the company co-founder with myself. Martin is one of the few internationally recognised experts in ABE fermentation, which is our Crow process, and that's 100 years old and has operated at huge industrial scale all over the world. Martin was able to patent an innovative adaptation of this proven process by applying it to whisky production residues, and the company now owns the two international patents and IP. This process innovation and compelling business proposition has won a host of awards from cross-sectoral recognition, and that's from the fuel, vehicle, renewables, chemicals, and investment sectors. The process products are three solvents, acetone, butanol, and ethanol, all valuable chemical commodities, and the main one, bibutanol, is also an advanced biofuel and a drop-in replacement for petrol without engine modification. We also produce high-protein animal feed and hydrogen, and all these commodities trade in strong, growing global markets. And given they are derived from sustainable sources, they will have strong demand. We are already in discussion with offtake customers such as Lucite, BP, Petroineos, and AB Agri. Oops, sorry, gone the wrong way. In addition to Martin and myself, Celtic Renewables has an expert team of microbiologists and, pr and process engineers. And our influential chairman, Dr. Doug Ward, CBE, is a pioneer of the UK biofuel industry. Celtic Renewables has been built on strong strategic partnerships and stakeholder alignment with Scottish Government, Scottish Enterprise, the UK Government's Department of Energy and Climate Change, the Scotch Whiskey Association, and we have a partnership with the distillery Tullibarden. Through a strategic partnership with Europe's flagship biotech pilot plant, we've scaled up the process a thousandfold from the original lab scale. We've optimized process parameters. We've produced significant samples of our products and validated their quality. And we've developed a robust process blueprint, which has informed the design and development of our first production plant. Celtic Renewables has also developed an incredible media profile for a young Scottish clean tech company with coverage on many global media channels. The next stage for Celtic Renewables will be the construction of a £25 million commercial demonstration plant, which we plan to site at Grangemouth. We're in discussions with INEOS, Falkirk Council and the Scottish Government to expedite the site lease and planning. We've secured the majority of the input feedstock for the plant, and we're developing partners across our supply chain, including EPCM contractors, plant operators, um, for the construction, commissioning, and operation of this plant by 2017. We expect to secure 40 to 50% of the 25 million pound CapEx project from the UK government's Department for Transport Advanced Biofuels Competition or from Scottish government support. And so we're here to meet potential investors who can help to provide some or all of the 12 to 15 million pounds of private investment to match these capital grants. When the demonstration plant is running full bore, it will deliver revenues and net profits to generate an IRR of 10% for this investment. However, more importantly, it will be the process exemplar for the turnkey delivery solution and partners for the development of further large-scale plants in Scotland, the UK, and internationally. And we have a number of planned sites already in motion. 
At large scale, the plants offer an IRR of well over 20%. This is a major exciting global opportunity, and we hope that you'll want to join us on our journey to realize it. Thank you.